Hello everybody, my name is Reese Gibson with QTE Manufacturing Solutions. Today is one of the three-part series we're going to go through on creating a 3D tool for the lathe module. Now this is a nice, nice piece of software that allows you, it's like a wizard, it takes you through, show me the insert, the cutting plane, the radius, it helps you set up your cutters a lot easier than the old system. Okay? This also allows you to download 3D models, complete models of your cutting tools. Now. We're going to go and I like to create mine on the fly, but you can use the tool manager and just right click and create a 3D tool. But what I like to do is, is I like to go create a tool path and then create it on the fly. Now, when you do this, basically when you right click in this white area here, there's a used to be right here. This is still a silhouette boundary, but now it's just create 3D tool. Now these 3D tools can reside inside the Mastercam file imported in, or they can reside outside the file. This is basically giving you your name of the turn tool, of the actual tool itself, its function. So I'm going to type in here, finish turn, BMMG-332. Okay. This, basically, these are the default settings. Now, if you use these drop downs here in your tool search or tool filter when you create these tools it will segregate them meaning if you're doing an id bore and you use your tool filter don't show me boring bars don't show me this just show me this this is the classification that the tool will be under okay so be sure and select this this is your tool station tool number if you use home positions in your in your in your tool paths okay this basically is the default home position if you grab this tool and you have a setting in your Config using home positions. This is what it'll use. Tell the software there that it's, a, it's an intrametric tool, and tell if it's a right or left hand cutting tool. Okay, and you can still determine this later on in the in the actual design of the tool. By hitting next, you're going in the wizard. Okay, right here is where you select the actual file itself. Now the file can be external. It can be inside the actual master cam on a level, and it can be in another library. I'm going to pick the folder here and I'm going to go to my tool that I have. It's a step file. Okay, it brings in my tool. What it says, select insert. So what you want to do is you want to click this right here, the whole solid model. It says there's your insert, the cutting, the cutting tool itself, the cutting edge. Now the corner radius, you can key it in or using the selection right corner right here. You pick this, you pick the edge. Now, in the manufacturer, you can also say it's a Seiko tool and give it the code manufacturer's code name. Meaning, if the tool is destroyed or damaged, this number can be right-click and output as a text number and give it to your, your purchasing agent. Now, the next one is, where's the holder? Again, by clicking this folder here, you go back to the model, the external model, and you click the holder, if it is more than one solid piece as well. When it wants to differentiate between the insert and the holder. Now, machine connection. By running your cursor over this, it shows you a little uh, shows you a little video. It says, "This is what I'm wanting." Okay, this is what I'm wanting. Okay, so by clicking this plane, you're going to say, "How is the machine orientated? How is it hooked to the turret?" Okay, by picking this back face, it reorientates the tool. Now you can still use your your commands here. So it's got the tool orientated. Do not worry about this origin yet. Now, if, if, if it's a rectangular thickness, it wants a single line right here. Just pick an edge. Single line. Pick an edge. Not a distance between two points. It's a single edge. Next. Now, this is used to basically mate the insert to the holder if it is not mated, meaning if it's separated, I can go mate the insert to the holder, meaning marry them together. Okay? Now, I'll create another series where we'll use this function. Right now, the insert is hooked to the holder, so we don't have to worry about this section right now. Okay? By hitting next, it says, what's the cutting plane? What it wants to know is where the insert parallel to the cutting plane, meaning top view x-axis. Basically, I just picked the. You have to. You have to grab this right here. See what's doing? It's 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 actually prompting you by running your cursor over there. You can either pick it from here. You can pick this or pick this. 
just some flat plane to orientate it. Now once you do this and you use your right click top, it's orientating the tool. Always do your right click top because you're looking down on the turret right now. Tail stucks to the right of you, chucks to the left, turret is in the, in the positive X axis, just like your lathe. Okay. Now, right now it is, is determined, this is my insert, this is my holder. If you notice, it's still a silhouette boundary. So basically, the old rules were a closed, closed continuous flat loop as the holder, and the insert has to, has to overlap the holder, and they have to be two different colors. Look what it's doing. It's still doing the same thing. Just the wizard is making it easier. Okay. By hitting my next, it wants to know um, <clears throat> the boundary. Okay, it's already found the boundary. Boundary meaning this my outline boundary. Okay, and I'm going to actually give you another series where where we loosen this tolerance to find the insert. By hitting next. It's going to, I'm going to do a top view to keep my orientation. It goes, are you a top turret? Are you a bottom turret? Are you a left side, a right side spindle, left side spindle? Are you clockwise, counterclockwise? See what it's doing? It's flipping it around for you. It's giving you more of a visual. Now, counterclockwise would be from the right side view looking in the spindle if you stuck your head into the lathe. By hitting next, right now you're going, okay, is it going to cut the plunge this way? Right here is where you pick what quadrant it thinks it's on. Okay. Where are the tools being touched off? Where is this imaginary point right here? Because we know this point doesn't exist. So we have software. Now, here's one important part is when you scan the tool geometry, right now it doesn't know clearances. It doesn't know the holder. Right now it doesn't. By, by scanning the tool geometry, Mastercam will go in from the current view by pressing this little X here. Now it found the three tangent points. Now it knows where the holder can go and where the insert can go. So basically these tangent points. The next one is next. Obviously, these are your default settings. You want to tool it through. You want what's the amount of your cut. A lot of this can be automated, where you grab this cutter and it fills out all this information for you. Okay. Now, when you're completed, you click the green check. Your 3D tool shows up. You make your adjustments. Back plot your 3D tool. also in solid model simulation. It will show your cutter. More realistic. We're trying to get there every day. And there's my tool. Any questions? Always call support. We're always here for you. Thank you for your time.